I don't wear boxer shorts, and let me tell you why. It's 1985, I'm playing basketball for Great Mills High School in Maryland. We have to travel to Dunbar High School in DC, one of the most prestigious basketball teams in the country at the time. While in the locker room, I realize, oh no, I forgot my jock strap. Well, back in 1985, if you remember, basketball shorts were very, very short. And for whatever reason in my life, at that point, my underwear of choice were boxers. Uh-oh, I gotta make a choice. Do I go without boxers and risk exposure? Well, considering I was gonna be the only white boy in the basketball court at the time, I thought that's not worth the risk. So I went with plan B. I tucked him in as much as I could and hoped for the best. Well, sure enough, three seconds into the game, they slip right out. I have another choice to make. Do I keep fiddling with my boxers to try to hide them or just play the hand I'm dealt? I chose plan B and I look like an idiot. Now keep in mind, these weren't compression boxers. These were the loosey-goosey kind that flailed in the wind as I ran them down the court. It was embarrassing. I looked ridiculous. It looked like I was wearing bloomers from the 1800s. Now, Dunbar beaches, no surprise, it's Dunbar High School. But instead of a somber bus ride home, kids are laughing, having a good old time. Hey, good game, boxer boy. Good game, good job, boxer boy. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. I'm never gonna live this down. And they're like, hey, don't worry, it's Dunbar High School. It's not like, yeah, they're the most prestigious school in the country, but they beat lots of teams. It's not like they're gonna remember that the only white boy in the court ran up and down the court with his boxers hanging six inches below his basketball shorts. They're not gonna remember that. Don't worry about it, boxer boy. I never wore boxers since.